All right, I'm on the road again, this time in Port Aransas, Texas. Never fished this part of the country at all. It's obviously legendary, speckled trout fishing. They grow some legitimate giants here, 30 inch plus fish. Now this isn't exactly the right time of year for that. Typically you wanna fish in the winter, but I'm just hoping to catch some bigger fish than what I've been catching lately in Louisiana. I got my kayak, I'm across that channel and go fish that flat over there. Wish me luck. All right, when I come on these trips, I like to get as much intel as I can. And for this one, I had the good fortune of talking to one of the best anglers that I know, a guy named Chris Bush, actually from Louisiana, but now lives here in Texas, fishes this Port Aransas area a whole lot, fishes Corpus Christi a lot, catches some absolute monsters. He runs, oh, oh, I got a fish already, first cast. Look at this, first cast. <laughs> It hasn't jumped, but it is a trout. First cast. Look at this. All right, there we go. <laughs> Nothing to this Texas fishing. He's not really net worthy. All right. Well, that's awesome. Look, I see these slicks up here. That's why I stopped the fish here. I was paddling in, looked back and saw the slicks. Let me put this anchor out. Hopefully we can hold here a minute. All right, dude. Now look, this, this is not what we came to Texas for. Obviously, it's a nice trout, but hopefully we'll catch some bigger ones. <laughs> First cast. All right, let's let him go. There you go, dude. All right, all right. Look, you see the slicks up there? That's right where that fish was. I threw up current of the slicks. Let's hope we do not fall victim to the first cast curse so basically my truck is right in the direction i'm looking i paddled all the way in against the wind a couple of islands here that's the town oh shoot i got popped that's the town of aransas pass back over there is port aransas we're actually staying in port aransas this is a big grass flat oh popped again it! and what i'm throwing is a ghost minnow. Captain Lane Zimmer makes these. Chris told me it's been by far the hottest bait in this area. Now he's got a special color that Lane makes for him. This is not that, but this just looked good to me. And after I get this cast in, I'll explain to you how I've got it rigged, which is not traditional. All right, nothing on that cast. So I've got it rigged through the belly, which is not the proper, proper way to rig it. But Chris feels like the flat bottom on the bait makes it fall better. The rounded belly makes it kind of wobble on the way down, whereas this makes it fall more properly. I guess spin is, is the proper word rather than wobble. It kind of spins on the way down. And I got it rigged on an eighth ounce death grip jig head, also made by Lane Zimmer. There he is, there he is. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Ooh, look at you, a little feisty. Oh, ladyfish. <laughs> ladyfish. Probably not the last time that's going to happen. Because this is nothing but grass. 100% it was trout that made those slicks. They're kind of drifting away from me. I can either drift back with them with the wind or keep going that way. I think I'm going to keep going. Find some other fish. Well, it was a good start. Well, there we go. Pretty sure it's a mullet scale. Mullets by the millions up here. More mullets than a Morgan Wallen concert. There he is. There he is. Is it a lady? Is it a speck? He hasn't jumped yet. Well, we'll see. It looks like it might be a little red. Just gotten a couple of glimpses through the water. <laughs> yep, redfish. Not a keeper for the fun fight. Not keeping fish anyway, so what do I care? I do have a net. I should use it. All right. 
All right, not the big trout we came here to catch, but still a fun fight. Where's your speckled cousins? I don't know if you can see through that water and see all those grass beds. Let's let this little guy go. There he goes. So I don't have a ton of experience fishing over grass flats. I just don't do it a lot in Louisiana. I fish around a lot of hydrilla and coontail, but I typically fish the edges where it drops off into deeper water. But these extensive flats are kind of new territory for me. I'm definitely having some issues with bait getting fouled. Most of my casts come back with grass. I'm trying to keep the lure moving kind of fast and high with also twitches mixed in. Obviously this bait is designed to be twitched. It's not a paddle tail. Can't really just swim it. I'll actually be fishing with Chris tomorrow and I'm really looking forward to it. Just getting his insights on the most efficient, effective ways to do this. All right, something just bit my tail off, probably a ladyfish. So if you're wondering, the color I'm fishing is spring chicken. That's the package. All right, my bites have really slowed down. Chris told me that current's kind of at a premium here. It's not a lot of current. I do see a current line up here, probably caused by wind. So I'm going to paddle up to that and try and fish that current line. All the slicks I've been seeing are grass slicks. I mean, there's one right here. All right, I paddled back to this island here, but I've made a little bit of a change. I put this Pro's Choice soft stick bait on my death grip jig head, kind of a funky rig, but I've got a rig weedless just because, I don't know how well you can see all this, but there's just not a lot of gap between the top of the grass and the, and the water surface. So I'm gonna try and work this a little bit quicker, keep it a little bit higher. And this thing looks really, really good in the water when fished like this. Let's see if it works. Ooh, there's a fish. He smoked me. Goodness. What the heck? That's got to be a red, man. If that's a trout, that's... Yeah, that's got to be a red. That's got to be a red. He hasn't jumped at all. So I'm thinking redfish. Yeah, no trout's ever fought me like this. Yep, redfish. Just saw him. Get this net. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. All right, we got him. Skinny Texas Red. I'm going to put a tag, Louisiana tag, in this guy. All right, we're going to let him go. There he goes. He's good. All right. All right, our pro's choice worked. It did what we thought it would do. Staying mostly clean, not getting fouled nearly as much. Oh, goodness. I got smoked. <laughs> oh, flounder. Beautiful flounder. Beautiful flounder. Oh, he came off. <laughs> that was a tank. <laughs> Typical flounder came off. He was a doormat. Our pro's choice is paying dividends, I'll tell you that. This is the clear conscience color. Oh, and you're not keeping fish. Losing a flounder doesn't hurt as bad. All right, I think I'm going to try and wait a little bit. Water's a little bit deep where I am. I'm going to paddle back up to that island. And get out and walk, see what I can find. Stretch my legs a little bit. Back in a jiff. All right, so I'm out the kayak. I'm kind of tethered to it. Got it coming along with me. Kind of weird walking this grass flat. The bottom's a little soft. It's not like walking sand. You can't really stay in one spot too long or you sink. If you keep moving, it's not too bad. But I see a nice area here. It looks like a lot of gaps in the grass. So I'm going to kind of stand on the edge of this and and fish there. All right, I've climbed up back in the boat because the slick just popped up back here. I wasn't there a minute ago. Obviously, something's feeding there. I'm going to paddle myself into position, try and make casts in that general area.
There's a fish. There's a fish. Probably another red. Oh, a flounder. Another flounder. Another flounder. Let's see if we can actually land him. Look at him. He's not as big as the last one. Seems to be hooked a little better, though. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is my first time netting a fish. Clearly, I should have just hoisted him. All right, flounder. Last one was a lot bigger, but I'm grateful to have this guy too. Also caught on my pro's choice. And I gotta admit, I didn't feel this dude hit at all. He was just on. All right, hold on, hold on. You're actually gonna get to be swimming again. All right, dude. Thanks for the fight. All right, glad you're healthy. So that's another fish on this pro's choice in clear conscience. So I'm kind of figuring some things out. I mean, I've only caught one speckled trout, so obviously I haven't figured them out yet. But in these grass flats, whenever the sun pops out, you can see holes in the grass. Some are bigger than others. So I'm trying to find the bigger holes, casting to the edge of them, and just working the bait through there. And that seems to be where the fish are holding. I'm sure for guys who do this all the time, that's flat fishing 101 i just don't do a ton of this at all done a little bit of flat fishing at the chandler islands but this is kind of new territory for me i love it it's a lot of fun i absolutely love it just great fun but like everything it's got its nuances and i just i just have to learn them and that's what today is all about and i'm having a blast i'll tell you that as you can see we've got a lot of puffy cumulus clouds they keep covering the sun and it kind of puts you at a disadvantage when that sun's covered you just got a blind cast but when the sun's shining directly on the water you can see those bare spots and make smarter casts all right it's getting to be that time i gotta head in so i'm gonna make the long drift back to my truck i'll fish most of it see what i can catch we won't be on this nice grass flat but we might run across something just randomly all right what an absolute blast i always love fishing new water particularly in new states Believe me, I wish I caught more speckled trout, but in the immortal words of Mick Jagger, you can't always get what you want. Still had an absolute blast. Really looking forward to fishing tomorrow with Chris. That'll be the next video, hopefully, if things work out for us. So be sure and check that out. All right, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe, don't forget about that. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh or in a grass flat, we'll see you right here on Marshman Massa.